everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link tree down below. Has the links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, all right? Today at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be talking about the New York Jets, okay? We'll be doing a live radio show. We'll be talking about the Jets, you know, beating the Browns. We'll also be discussing the upcoming game for the Jets as well. Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. So with all that said and done and put to the side, I'll come to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets getting a big comeback win, all right, against the Cleveland Browns. Jets beat the Cleveland Browns 31-30, to and boy, oh boy, was this a big game. It was huge, man. This just shows the different type of grit and fight that the New York Jets have, and it just shows that we're a team that doesn't give up. And, and it, it also shows, again, what this coaching staff is bringing to the table because they kept things rolling. They kept pushing. They kept fighting. They never said die. The game's not over until that final whistle blows, and the New York Jets showed that. So let's start it off with everything that happened, all right? Our first drive stalled, um, and I'm just going to put this out there, okay? The referees were a little off okay, in this game. They were just off, and they made a lot of calls against the Jets that I thought were a little suspicious, right? But one of one of a, one of the calls on our first drive, where Conklin is catches a football before he goes out of bounds, right? And it's clear as day that he catches that ball. He got both feet down before he he went out of bounds, and for some reason, they called it a no catch. Then it was it was reviewed, which it showed you could see the grass between his feet and the out of bounds. And they just kept it as a no catch. And it was so weird. It was so weird to me that the refs were continuing to make these off calls. But whatever. So then you see the Browns get the football. And again, we were talking about before the game, hey, our defense has really got to step up. This is a tough Browns football team. And the Browns literally led a 90-yard drive on their first drive. And they scored a TD. And it was like, whoa. <laughs> you know, this is... We've got to really put in some work today because that was quite a drive and it was capped off with a touchdown again. So now the Jets were able to answer on the next drive as well. Um, offense was kind of sputtering, especially early. We couldn't get things going, but the Jets put themselves in a situation where they said, hey, we're not going to allow that to stop us. They actually ran a fake punt, which then converted into a first down and the drive was capped off by Garrett Wilson catching a touchdown after Brees Hall had a long run. So now the offense is starting to kind of get some mojo and get rolling after, again, there was some, some sputtering a little bit early. Then we saw the Cleveland Browns come back and answer, man. Amari Cooper actually caught a, uh, a touchdown, and then they were actually able to get a strip sack as well. Uh, Clowney was able to come around the edge, strip the ball out of Flacco's hands. And it was like, man, here we go again, you know. Trying to find our way, but things just can't really get rolling. But the New York Jets were able to find a way to answer before the half, okay? Before the half, we were able to get a touchdown. Joe Flacco was actually able to find Brees Hall, which had, he, Brees Hall had a good day for us. Um, Flacco was able to find him for a 10-yard score. So that tied it up 14-14 to before the half, and that was huge for the New York Jets. That's huge, especially with all the things that was going on. Again, you know, our defense was struggling a bit on the day. But to be able to tie that up, to answer, get a score, tie it up before the half was huge. Because now, again, we're in this fight. We're, we're handling business. We come out after the half, and we just kind of traded field goals. Um, they hit one, we hit one. Again, so it was tied up 17-17. Zerline actually hit a 57-yarder. Whoa, when I saw that go in, I said, wow. <laughs> because we all know this guy's been struggling as long as the struggle has been struggling here. Like, he's been very up and down, especially since the early, uh, again, you know, part of this season, our first game. He was just all over the place with his kicks. So, after winning the starting kicking job. So, you know, he hit a 57-yarder. We're in business. 
Then the Browns respond with two TD drives, both of them by Chubb, okay? Chubb runs in a seven-yarder, touchdown. Now, the second touchdown was a little odd, okay? Because I was thinking to myself, if he just goes down, they could have drained the clock because, again, it was late in the game. So, Chubb catches or uh, runs in a 12-yard touchdown as well. He didn't go down. Now, Chubb had a day, all right? 87 yards, three TDs. That put the Browns up 17 to 30. But that left the door open for us because if we can get some scores, we could take this game away, right? Again, if Chubb goes down before he runs in for that second touchdown, Browns can drain the clock, game's over. No, he took it in. So at that time, I'm thinking if the Jets just keep themselves rolling, if the Jets keep that fighting mentality, if the Jets don't stop until the fat lady sings, we got a chance in here. And I think that that's exactly, again, what the New York Jets coaching staff was. There was talks about it as well that there was a coach on the staff that told him, listen, they just opened the door for us to take this game away. Let's, let's get it. And that just shows, again, the fight that is in this staff. The fight that is in this staff bleeds off into the rest of the team where we never quit, never say die, never say it's over until it's over. OK, so at this point, the Browns are up 17 to 30 at this point. It's less than two minutes left. You know, we're trying to figure things out. Flacco comes out looking around, drops back. He finds Corey Davis wide open <laughs> for a 66 yard touchdown. I told y'all I call Corey Davis when things are going on in my life. And I called him before the game, and I told y'all. He told me, he said, Joe, I got you. I said, Corey, we need you, man. Got to step up. The early drops, you got to kill that. He said, Joe, I got you. Don't trip. And he got me. 66-yard touchdown for the New York Jets. So now we're back in business because it's 24-30. 24-30. We come out, line up for the onside kick, and I'm just like, man, please, please let the Jets recover this. They kick it. New York Jets recover. Ball bounces around. We're able to get it back. We're good to go. All right? Offense comes out. Flack, Flacco's finding a way. They're driving down the field. Next, next thing I know, man, Flacco finds Garrett Wilson for a 15-yard TD. Extra point gets hit. New York Jets up 31 to 30. In under two minutes, the New York Jets were able to score two touchdowns. What? <laughs> it's insane. This is insane. It's insane. The Jets just kept pushing, kept fighting, and didn't give up. They didn't give up. And again, we were led by our young guys. Brees Hall had a great day. Garrett Wilson was amazing out there. Unbelievable. I, I believe he's the offensive MVP of that game for me. I know he had over, uh, I think he had like 102 yards and he also had two touchdowns. Garrett Wilson was phenomenal. And this is a guy that we've been talking about. Hey, Mike LaFleur, put the ball in this guy's hands. <laughs> when he gets the ball in his hands, he's electric. And we saw he was routing guys up. He looked amazing. And then to close it out, Ashton Davis <laughs> caught the interception from Jacoby Bursette and that put the game away. New York Jets win. What a win by the Jets. What a win. That showed so much fight to not stop, to not give up, to not say die, to continue to push with all the odds against you. That's the type of stuff that, that pushes teams to that next level, to have that kind of heart. That's what you need when you want to consistently compete and become one of the big boy teams like we want to become. What a win by the New York Jets. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel? about this Jets win. What are your thoughts about the comeback? How do you feel about Garrett Wilson? Comment down below. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.